Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm showing you guys how to build my key door. Now, I've built one of these in the past when hoppers and droppers first were introduced to Minecraft Xbox. So I made a much more compact and simple design, and I think it's way better than the older one because obviously I know a lot more about <laughs> compar comparators, hoppers, and droppers, and all that stuff. So if we throw an item at our door, it will open up. However, it has to be our house key item. So if I throw any item at it, it won't work. As you see, the item just disappears. Nothing's happening. Now my house. Yeah, oh, I didn't throw that. <laughs> now my house key is a tripwire hook that I renamed Creeper Key. Now if I throw a other tripwire hook, it does not work. I see I threw a tripwire hook in there. It does not work. It has to be our tripwire hook called Creeper Key. So if I throw my Creeper Key in the door, the door opens up. And then when I walk inside and hit this pressure plate right here, we get our key back. And then when I get off the pressure plate, our door closes behind us. Very easy concept, guys. Very easy to build. And I think it's just way better than my older key door by by a, by a landslide. <laughs> so let's start building this thing, guys. All right, guys. So before we get into this build, I want to talk to you how the doors work for this kind of build. Now, this build, if you want it facing south and east, it's going to have to be concaved into the wall. As you can see, it is not flush to the wall. Now, if you want it to face north or west, it can be flush to the wall. So here's the map. As you can see, I'm facing west right now. So it is flush to the wall. So this can be flush to the wall if it's facing this way or if it's facing this way. Now, if you are south or east, it's going to have to be concaved into the wall. So you're going to have to be facing. If this is south, let me just take us out. <laughs> so this is south. I mean, this is south right here. And this is east right here. So just keep that in mind, guys. North and west can be flush. South and east have to be concaved. All right, so let's start building this thing. All right, guys, so for this build, we're going to need a four by five spacing. We're also going to have to dig down three. Now, if you're wondering what this red block right here is, that's where your door is going to be. So before you start digging everything out, I just want to let you guys know inside this spacing right here is where your door is going to be inside the spacing. So if you go to the bottom left hand corner of the four by five spacing and count over three, one, two, three, and then count up three, one, two, three, that is where your door will lie. Now for this build, we're going to need three hoppers, one dispenser, one dropper, two redstone comparators, one redstone repeater, one redstone torch, six redstone dust, one pressure plate. We're also going to need one minecart with a hopper, one iron door. And then down here are the items we're going to need to place in our minecart with a hopper because this is like my payment door. However, you get your item back. So we're going to need one button, one piston and one rail. You're not going to need this at the end of the build. You will be getting these resources back. Now, I'm going to be using my creeper key as my item for my door. Now, if you don't know how to rename items, it's just use an anvil, guys. Just take out an anvil, go inside the anvil. All right, guys, so to kick things off, what we want to do is get our door in, our minecart with a hopper in and all that stuff, which is what we're going to be using to throw our items through to open up the door. So I already told you where our door is going to be, but I'm going to do it one more time. So once you got your four by five spacing and you've dug down your three, come to the bottom left hand corner and count over three blocks. So one, two, three and then count up three blocks one two three and then right here is where our door is going to be going so what i want you to do is come up three blocks from here one two three like that and then we're going to come off one block towards the front so this is going to be the front of our door right here guys and then we're going to delete the middle block and we're going to put a hopper going into this block right here like that so as you see the notch is going into the side of the block next what i want you to do is delete this block and the bottom block right here then on the top block we're going to put down our rail Put our hopper with a i mean our minecart with a hopper on top of that rail and then delete the block underneath it it should fall down into place do not touch this just try not to touch the minecart guys if you do then you're gonna have to redo what i just did there next go inside your hopper and make sure to take out your rail you don't want to forget your rail because otherwise now nah, you'll get it back doesn't matter we're gonna need this spacing so you're gonna realize you're gonna have to take the rail out next what we're gonna do is put in our door so come off any side you wanted this hopper doesn't really matter i'm gonna come off the right and just go all the way up and then take out your block of choice you will be able to see this block and put it right above your minecart with a hopper delete all these side blocks are no longer needed we just needed to get our block up here come up two more blocks one two delete the middle block put a piston facing downwards towards this block like that put a button on the top block click the button and it'll push your block in the place now we don't need our pistons and our buttons anymore it was just to get this block in the place next we're going to put in our iron door now like i said north and west can face you like this you can see right here is the front of the door so if you're facing north or west it will look like this but if you're facing south or east it will look like this so just go backwards like this and put your door down on the block it will be concaved into the wall so i'm gonna have mine's obviously west so i'm gonna put my my door down just like this it's gonna be flush to the wall 
Next, what we're going to be doing is some redstone. So come right underneath your hopper right here and going towards the inside of your door. We're going to put a block right behind this hopper like this. Put a hopper going into this block like that. As you can see, the notch is going into the block right underneath this hopper. Delete this block. Then we're pretty much just going to skip this block right here. And then off this block, we're going to put our dropper facing upwards. So make sure it's your dropper and not a dispenser. So put a dropper facing upwards right here. And then going into the side of this dropper coming out of this hopper, we're going to put our third hopper like that. So we no longer need our hoppers anymore. So make sure that's a dropper, guys. It has to be a dropper. Then right on top of the dropper, we're just going to jump on top of it, go into sneak mode, and then pull out your dispenser, go into sneak mode, and then jump up and put a dispenser facing upwards off the top of your dropper. As you see right there, it says a dispenser. So we no longer need our dispensers and we no longer need our droppers anymore. Next, what we're gonna do is swing back over here and coming out of this hopper right here, we're gonna put a block and put a comparator coming out of this hopper like this. So just make sure you don't touch that minecart, guys. See that minecart right up there? Just make sure you don't touch it or you're gonna have to re-put it back in. Then we're gonna put a block right in front of our comparator like that. And then we're gonna go two blocks back towards our comparator and put two pieces of redstone dust like this. Don't worry if it connects to each other, guys. It doesn't give off enough of a tick pulse to make it have an infinite clock. So do not worry about that. Next, what we're going to do is coming off the side of this block. We're going to put a torch like this, which will lock this hopper. Now we can go ahead and put our key in. All right, guys. So now we can go ahead and put our key in because this torch is now locking this bottom hopper. Now, like I said, I'm going to be using my creeper key. So if you're doing this on survival, you're only going to need at least 24 items. That's in case you think you're not going to lose your key. If you're going to die and lose your key, I highly recommend making more. But if you want to make the bare minimum, you're going to only need 24 of that item. So just go into the top hopper right here that has a comparator coming out of it. And then we're going to go ahead and put four items like this. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to put 18 in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So if you use the bare minimum, you should still have two keys left over. Next, what we're going to do is go into the hopper right below this hopper. And we're going to put one more of our key in here. So now we're left with only one key, guys. Like I said, if you want to do more, you can go ahead. But 24 is the bare minimum. So now we have our key in and working. Next, all we have to do is just set it up so our items get dispensed out when we walk inside our door. So to have our items dispensed out when we walk inside of our door, all we have to do is just put some redstone dust right here coming out of this torch with a block in front of it. Next, right on top of this hopper, we're going to put some redstone dust like this. So go into sneak mode and put some redstone dust up here. Now, we don't want these two connecting. As you can see, it's connecting to this one. We don't want that. So just put a block right here, which will disconnect it. And as you can see, now it's off. Next, what you can go ahead and do is put your block of choice right above this redstone dust and put a dispense. I mean, put a the pressure plate right here. You just use a stone pressure plate. I, You can use wood. It doesn't really matter. Just you, you need a pressure plate. <laughs> Next, what we're going to do is coming out of this dispenser right here. We're going to face it going back into here. So it opens up our door when our item flows over to here. So to do that, all we have to do is just put a block coming out right here and put a comparator coming out of our dispenser like this. Put a block in front of our comparator, a block down coming out of this block. We're going to put a repeater. Next, we're going to put a block in front of our repeater with redstone dust and then just put a block next to this hopper. So just go into sneak mode, put a block next to it and then put redstone dust going up towards this block right here which will open up our door. And that is it guys, you are completely done. So now if I just fill in this little area right here with some blocks of choice, like that, I'm not gonna do it all the way. <laughs> It'll take forever. So we're just gonna put this around here like this. And then we're gonna, we can go ahead and put our frame around our door. So just go like this and put your frame around the door. Make sure you do not disconnect those two uh, pieces of redstone over here. Right here, as you can see this redstone connecting, do not put a block right here, because if you disconnect them, then it won't work. So just, you know, put an extra block like that, and then you can go ahead and come down like this if you really want to. You're not gonna be able to see these blocks anyways, guys. So I'm just gonna put some blocks like this. There we go. And then we can go ahead and put some blocks right here. There we go. And then we can put some more blocks of choice down inside our house. I don't know why I'm using sandstone on the inside and outside of my house. Don't judge me. <laughs> I just, I didn't, I, I, I could have taken out another. Now I'm kind of getting annoyed that I didn't do it. Oh yeah, guys, before we move on, I almost forgot. We're gonna have to put some blocks right here. So see where our dispenser and our droppers, make sure you have blocks right here like this, like this, and like this. This will make sure that your key always comes off the top block. If not, then it's gonna flow out this way and you're gonna lose your key. So just make sure you have a, a row of blocks right next to them so they don't, you know, your key doesn't go everywhere. Then you can go ahead and fill the rest in like this. There we go. And you are completely done. So now if I come to the front door and I throw anything that's not our key at the door like this, it won't work, but if I take out my creeper key and I go ahead and throw it at the door, boop, 
it will open up the door you know what? let me uh let me get rid of the rest of these creeper keys just in case then we're gonna walk inside and once i hit this pressure plate i'll get my key back so boop as you see i just got my key back and the door closes behind me and there you guys go that is how you build my new compact key door if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys peace